<sighs> I'll make another one of this again. Um, all right. Here we go. Who the fuck called me? <sighs> all right, here we go. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? You know how we do it out here in these streets, man. It's your boy, Uneducated Brother, man. I've seen another video of um, uh, people who was trying to bait us into our demise, and uh, we ran across another one. This guy is a career politician who is race hustling to make a quick buck. That was his career now until he got hired at MSNBC. That's why you don't notice him on the front line of anything racial injustice. We're talking about my man Al Sharpton here. He said something really crazy, really crazy and really absurd. And I have to dig up a couple of researches just to really combat against what he said. But ultimately what he is trying to do is to keep us blinded and keep us in a political party with no options regardless of what they have done to us and this is video this video shows a prime example of what the fuck is going on within our community and why we where we at today let's play that beautiful video do you think the conversations about reparations are real or are you just using it as a talking point i think that some of them is a talking point just check that box because if you ask the next question well then how do you want to see it done they don't have the answer and we cannot be a box you check. We've got to be a major part of this discussion. They cannot defeat Trump without us. We should not go cheaply by just getting a pat on the back or somebody coming by the Sunday morning church service singing with the choir Amazing Grace and trying to clap on the beat when they don't know how. <laughs> they need to be really real about a real policy and agenda for us. What do you think about uh, Joe Biden? I mean... You know, uh, Biden's thing is 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 mm. is if you're gonna be out there in the front runner, they're gonna take shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know where this is going. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know if he's gonna run. Uh, but I think that we're in a climate where that they're gonna take shots. And if you out front, you expect to get hit. If you know, even if you look at uh, how geese fly, the front geese gets all of the stuff in their face, so Ooh. it goes with the territory. I wonder about Biden though, because like. Black people were very upset about Hillary because she was married to Bill who right. passed the 94 crime bill and they jumped right. on Kamala for her prosecution record. Ooh. Joe Biden wrote the 94 crime bill. Ooh. Joe Biden wrote it and Joe Biden also uh, had the Anita Hill problem. Mm. And when Joe Biden spoke at Nash Action, there was Martin Luther King uh, breakfast this January. He said, he, uh, said that it was wrong, that uh, it went the wrong place. But he's got to deal with that even more and more. But let's not forget Bernie Sanders voted for the crime. Yeah. So, I mean, all of the candidates are going to have to explain their past. And I'm not saying that they should not be given understanding. But first, you you know, before you can get forgiveness from God, you got to repent. You got to say this was wrong. I marched against the crime bill in 94. Right. Most of the Congressional Black Caucus was for the crime bill. Right. Because even though we said that crack was wrong and we were painting and exposing crack houses here in New York, we knew that was going to lock up a half a generation or more blacks. And it did. Mm -hmm. And we still are suffering from that. Families right are divided. They've got to deal with that issue. And they've got to deal with where now Trump is trying to bring us back there. What? Because they're talking about, through his Justice Department, trying to come back these kind of mandatory sentencing language, at least in language. What? What the Today fuck? Here. The fuck I just said? Now check out this video right here, just completely against what what, what he just said. You hear what he said? Trump try to roll back that. <laughs> now check this out. To celebrate the truly extraordinary bipartisan. That's a very pleasant word. That's a pleasant word. Achievement of the first step act very important prison reform this landmark legislation will give countless current and former prisoners a second chance at life and a new opportunity to contribute to their communities their states and their nations and that's what they're doing many people said in fact i guess we could say almost all people said that criminal justice reform would never pass but we came together as a group, we worked across party lines, and we got it done. And it's an incredible thing when you see some of the people here, so conservative and then some so liberal, 
And uh, we just have a lot of great people. They came together. They knew it had to be done. As president, I pledge to work with both parties for the good of the whole nation. And that's what it is. It's for the good of the whole nation. And finally, the law rolls back provisions of the 1994 Clinton crime law that was so devastating to so many and that disproportionately impacted the African-American community. Nobody <laughs> believes how much, and now they understand. Wait, wait, yeah. What the fuck was Al Sharpton talking about then? What is this? Is this a, a different world that we're living? Because that's completely different. What I'm seeing right now, that's completely different from that video that I just played you before with Al Sharpton. So what's going on? The truth is that we are being misled, right? In spite of all the, you know, the person who actually wrote the crime bill, Joe Biden, the person who actually voted for it, right? Uh, uh, um, Bernie Sanders, and the person who actually signed it, right? Uh, uh, Bill Clinton, supported by Hillary Clinton, you know, the super predator comments, right? What are, what, what, what are our options, really? Oh, do you can't beat Trump without us? So you're trying to beat this? No, my friend, you're the one that's really trying to roll back on this crime bill and <laughs> that you're claiming Trump is doing because he just passed the prison reform bill that you, I know you know about that. But how come you're not educating your people about it? The truth, regardless of who is it coming from. Now, how, and then my thing is, right? How can somebody be so racist, right? passed a bill that we've been asking for even before Obama got elected. And he didn't even do it. But anyways, yo, this is a, uh, a clear point of hypocrisy I wanted to show at the Breakfast Club. Um, the Breakfast Club is a good place for, you know, um, people to come and give great interviews and, and stuff. And I've been watching the Breakfast Club for years. And one thing I do know, they are liberal biased. And they not, they, even if it's better for our own community, they are so for our own community, they still will not have people like Candace Owens up there, people like Charlie Kirk up there, a different point of view, a conservative, a real conservative, not these old conservatives that they have on the show that don't know nothing that's going on with the culture. The only thing that they know is, you know, laws and legislation. But look at the deep deep root of what's going on here within our own culture. Everybody have options. If they don't like one thing here, they go to the other side. While over here in our community, if we don't like one thing here, we got no no choice but to stay in here because of these fake ass leaders like Al Sharpton's giving us no other options. We got to start doing our own research and actually, you know, uh, 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 assimilate as one with the facts. We are being misled, and that is not right. We are being misled all the way down to the bank when they actually lying to us about this whole reparation. You notice how like a black conservative conservative movement is actually growing, and what are they doing to try to keep black people from voting? Uh, from from voting Republican is promising you more handouts, more free stuff. Oh, oh all right. On top of you know the the uh, the the laws and the rules that we have in place, let's add something just to keep these guys in line. Oh, uh, reparation. Now we looking at reparation. Oh man, we over here. We feeling no press because of slavery. We feeling no press because of this. We feeling no press because of that. Reparation sounds damn good to us for somebody who feel oppressed, but that is not the case. We are not oppressed. Some part of that um, interview, this guy, this guy had the nerve to actually said that we are denied uh, bank loans to actually buy houses. The last time I checked, as a young black guy, right, I went and I applied to borrow a loan, right? You know what they checked? How much I'm making. They didn't say anything as far as like the color of my skin. If, they, if that was the case, right? It will prevail for me because I will use the laws, the system that's in place to sue these people and get actually more money. We have to start thinking strategically. If this is actually true, what's actually going on as far as this whole oppression, there's laws against it we can sue. The problem is, right, we can't really find it. It's only being spewed by people who think that they are our leaders, but they're really not. 
It really not. But anyways, that's my video. I don't even want to yap on and talk about this shit for too long. When I find another point of hypocrisy of, of misleading, people are misleading us, I'll play another one again. But anyways, have a good one. Let me know in your comments down below if I said anything wrong. Am I wrong about what I said? My, my train of thoughts? I would love to, you know, have an open dialogue, open discussion. When I, bad boy, baby.